God's story, the armor of God. So part of God's story is about how God gives us armor, and it goes like this. When we follow Jesus, we're a part of God's kingdom. And one day, Jesus will recreate a perfect world for the whole family to enjoy with God forever. But until then, we're in a battle, which means we're part of God's family and his army. See, God's enemy, we call him the devil or Satan, has a kingdom too. And he has his own army devoted to tricking us into believing that we can't trust God or that God doesn't really love us or worse, that God's love isn't good enough. Basically, he'll do anything to get us to stop trusting and obeying God. He pretends to be sneaky, like in the Garden of Eden, when he tricked Adam and Eve into trusting him instead of God. But he really wants to destroy us. In fact, the Bible says he is like a roaring lion, looking for people to devour. Yikes! Kids, how would you feel if you were being chased by a roaring lion? Anyway, the good news is, God has given us armor to defend against all of the devil's attacks. And if you're going to be in a battle, you've got to have the right equipment. So the first thing we put on is a belt of truth. That's because Satan is the father of lies. But when we choose to believe the truth that Jesus rescued us and God loves us, it's like we're wearing devil repellent, so the devil's lies can't get through to us. We also get a breastplate of righteousness. Being righteous means always making right choices. Of course, nobody has done that except Jesus. But see, Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. So when we choose to accept his rescue, God sees our sins as gone, which means to him, we are righteous. Satan means the accuser, and he loves to make us feel guilty. But we can defend ourselves by remembering how God sees us. Then come your feet. God covers them with what we need to go and tell people the good news about Jesus, kind of like boots. When more and more people believe in Jesus, the devil can't stand it because God's army and his kingdom are both getting bigger. We don't go into battle empty-handed either. We get a shield and a sword. Our shield is faith to block the devil's lies. Worried God won't take care of you? Nope, God promises to give us what we need. Worried God doesn't really love you? Nope, God created you in his own image. Our sword is the word of God, or the Bible. Finally, we get a helmet of salvation, which helps us remember in our heads that Jesus rescued us. We are a part of God's family and nothing can separate us from his love. That's right, nothing. And the best part, we're on the side that wins. So no matter how hard the devil tries to drag us over to his side, he won't be able to. God helps us stand strong and gives us armor we can use in the fight. And that's the story of the armor of God. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. We're in a battle, God has an enemy. God gives us armor, a belt of truth, a breastplate of righteousness, good news boots, a shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, and a helmet of salvation. We're on the winning side. So let's put on this armor and fight. And that's a part of God's story.